Hey guys, it's Tampa Tech, and I'm going to be doing a review on Action Tech My Wireless TV 2. And basically, you could connect a Blu ray player, an HD cable box on one room, and mirror it to another room wirelessly. So, you got a transmitter and you got a receiver. And it comes with uh, two boxes, it's a kit. Just like this one. And it comes with the HDMI cable and IR, um, trans, um, IR cable. So basically, it'll mirror whatever setup you have in one room, Blu ray player and a cable box, and it'll wirelessly transmit to another room uh, with the receiver connected HDMI to your TV. So you don't, in this room, you don't need a cable box or a Blu ray player. As long as you have a cable box, Blu ray player in this room, it'll wirelessly transmit it to over here. So first you want to hook up the transmitter. The transmitter gets hooked up to the anything that you want to mirror. So in this case, you're going to mirror this cable box and the Blu-ray player. Okay? And the TV does not have to be on. So you can have it on or off, it doesn't matter over here the setup. But the cable box and the Blu-ray player, as long as you know you could turn that on from another room, as long as you have the remote. And that goes through the IR sensor right here. So you have to make sure you have that taped to the IR sensor or else you won't be able to you know, turn everything on and off. So that's important. So make sure you have the transmitter in the room that you want to mirror your cable box and Blu-ray player. And it has a USB input too as well. You can change, change that and hit the select button. If any reason you're not getting a good transmission, just unplug the power cord for about 30 seconds to reset it. You got your cable box and it goes into your surround sound Blu-ray player right here. And it plugs in right there. Input on your surround sound Blu-ray player. And then the output on your surround sound Blu-ray player, instead of going to your TV, it's gonna go to that middleman, which is this transmitter, which plugs in on the HDMI input on the transmitter, action tech transmitter. And then now this goes to the HDMI output to your TV right here that you see right here and this transmitter IR transmitter cable has to go right here in front you just tape it right there in front now the receiver right here and it tells you the receiver you plug the HDMI output right here there's only one plug so the HDMI output right here goes to your TV and then the IR sensor that's the plug for the IR sensor and then you can put that right here in front so every time you hit channel up it's going to receive the IR signal right in here and it goes right in this inside of here and it transmits uh, I think 2.4 gigahertz transmission over to the other uh, the other action tech box and that's how that works and this is the power cable right here which is uh, just I think 5 volt 2 amp so you got your power adapter the HDMI out to your TV and the IR cable hit channel up see so let's go ahead and we can put this back here and it looks good we have no cable box in this room and no blu-ray player in this room it's wirelessly transmitting to the other room up there like maybe 20 feet away and channel, volume, audio, video works. And then over here, every time we hit channel up, hit channel up, you see it works over here. But this TV don't even have to be on. You can have the TV off and it'll still work. See, TV's off. I hit channel up, see? And it still works whether that's, you know, it's on or off the TV. Now you can also watch a Blu-ray player. So let's go ahead and I hit function right here. Now, over here, we can also watch a Blu-ray player. All right, so as long as you have the Blu-ray player remote in this room, and uh, as long as you have the cable box remote in this room, you can watch Blu-ray movies and you can watch anything on, on your cable box from another room wirelessly. And you just hit play from this point on. If this video was informative and it helped you out, give me a thumbs up, it helps me out. And subscribe for more easy tech fixes and reviews like this one. If you know anyone that this video may help, go ahead and click on the share button below and share it to Facebook or G+, or even your tech blog.